when it comes to booking hotels, you want to be sure that some of these have some kind of discount programs or something where um, when you pay, you get rewards. So sometimes they have a lot of good stuff. And I got to tell you guys, these are my top five. So we're going to jump straight into this. All in, Check the description below. Links will be there. That way you guys can get hooked up. First one, Expedia. I got to love it. So what we're going to do is we are going to go and I don't know, let's go to Miami. And, you know, a lot of us do like Miami out there. They have just beautiful weather. So and we're going to check out. Let's just I don't know. Let's just do it sometime for next year um, just to see. So and we'll do a popular weekend like Thursday to Saturday. Pretty easy. Now, the one thing I do like about Expedia is everything when you do search, these guys give you some really good stuff and they have tons of filters. If you sort by price, they will give you some of the best prices. Look at this. You get a condo for $155 a night. That's pretty good. Some places are already getting sold out. $82 a night over here for this one. Um, tons of stuff here. So just do your research. So many things are getting sold out because a lot of people are starting to travel. Um, my number two uh, app that I like is hotels.com and same thing I'm going to search here for Miami and we're going to do the exact same thing just look for next year and see what they have and again for one these guys are just super popular and they have a lot of stuff here um, I do like the sort by this is my favorite feature because you know we do want to get like the best deal possible as you can see some of these are already sold out you get some for you got a suite here for 174 night that's not bad um, but pretty good stuff here then if you don't want to spend that much money if you're just like nope I don't want to spend over a hundred bucks just filter it filter it under under a hundred under the hundred bucks and then see what you can find so now my number three app that i like is verbo a lot of people do not talk about this for some reason and i gotta say verbo is a killer one they they normally get some really really good stuff here so again i'm just gonna choose the exact same dates um let's just go by myself and yeah this one is an amazing one because if Expedia or Hotels.com don't have it, Verbo tends to have a lot of them. So, of course, first thing we're going to price from low to high. And look at this, 61 bucks a night for it looks like a little studio. Um, private cottage, $64 a night. And then you could see here on the map where exactly it is located. So if you were like, hey, I want something in... Um, something really close to the beach, you can do that. So verbal is a great one. Now, the other thing I do like to do is I like to go to Google and then just do a Google search, Google hotels. Let's go ahead and do Miami and just scroll down a little bit. A lot of people don't know this one, but you'll get this little pop-up like this, just like this, where you, again, you just choose the dates that you want. Super convenient that Google just scrapes the entire internet. And if it sees anything right here where, like, notice here, this stuff is grayed out right now, that means they can't really find too many things. So some of these exclusive websites will do it. So I'm just going to pick a different date here. Um, we're just going to go from in, in August, and we'll just do the same thing on a, a weekend. Now, the one thing I do like about Google, as you can see, this is like their own separate page here. Come here to all filters, and you can see lowest price. That way you could filter from, from low to high. You could see the top amount of dollar that you want to get paid. So popular is about like about 215. And then you can look at hotels, vacation rentals, beach, spa, boutique, hostels, uh, resorts, all kinds of stuff here. There's tons of options here that you could choose if you want pet friendly and stuff like that. Pretty good stuff here. Look, 80 bucks a night, 85 bucks a night, 86 bucks a night. Here's one like right off the beach here, 110 bucks a night. That's awesome. So make sure you guys do check this one out. Now, my number five, it's funny because I use this one for my flights, Skyscanner, but there is one for hotels. And let's go ahead and do Miami. And same thing, we're going to come here to, where did we do? September. And we're going to choose those dates right there, the exact same one, search. And Skyscanner just kind of scrapes a lot of different ones. So let me come here. It says the best price from leading hotels, booking.com, trip.com, hotels.com, Hyatt, Expedia. See, these are the two top that I like to use. And yeah, when you search for it, same exact thing. You go lowest price, top reviews, most stars. Look at this, $28 a night. You probably just get a bed and that's it. So 
67 bucks, 81 bucks, just so many good options. And again, filters galore. So I wanted to make this video like as short and sweet as possible. Let me know what is your favorite app or website that you guys use to get some of these best deals, um, you know, to get some of these best rewards and discounts and all kinds of stuff like i said i just i just planned my next trip and i got i got i got the hotel for free um for the whole week that i'm going to so good stuff there make sure you guys do check it out a lot of great stuff there but let me know what you guys use in the comment section below with all that being said i hope you guys take care take care of each other and we'll see you guys in the next one